Good morning, my lovely yarny peeps. Crafty Moo Sarah here in the yarn barn. And I know it's been a little while since I've been on. Um, I lost my crojo a bit. I've been a bit flat, uh, a bit stressed. Um, I have no kitchen at the moment. We're, my hubby is um, building me a new one. That's that's taking time. He has to do it at the weekends and a little bit in the evenings when he can. Um, and it's it's quite stressful not having a, a good usable space. But we're, we're OK. We're surviving. Um, and I had a friend uh, last week that I found out some devastating news about. And um, yeah. It's got nothing to do with illness. She's not going to die, but I can't say what it is, but it was a shock. So anyway, she's doing all right. Um, I haven't been able to see her yet because she came down with flu. She obviously got very run down and she ended up with a nasty bout of flu. I was supposed to be taking her out for lunch this weekend. So we're going to do it next weekend now. And hopefully I'll be able to have a good chat with her because uh, she's in Eastbourne. I'm here in Seaford and I only used to get to see her once a week. And of course, at the moment, I'm not seeing her. She's off work. So um, not sure when I'll get to see her um, outside of work until, well, it won't be before next weekend. But hey, there we go. But I'm OK. Um and I think I've got a couple of videos I need to do, very short ones. And I'm hoping that's going to get me going back into my crochet. I have been crocheting, but not for the last couple of days. I haven't done any, just not wanted to pick anything up. But there you go. We go through these peaks and troughs, don't we? And you just have to do what you can when you can. And don't worry. If you lose your crojo a little bit, it doesn't matter. It happens. Don't stress about it. There's enough stress in life as it is. But I have got something wonderful to share with you. I've had some happy mail. And this is from Erin at Crafting Kitty. And this was one of the prizes in April's um, Creator Spotlight winners. Um, each month, Erin um, chooses a creator and they are spotlighted for that month. And uh, we go over to that creator's um, channel and we choose to make whatever you want. You can make as many different things as you like. Just do make one thing, a couple of things. It doesn't matter. And your name gets put on a, on a list. Everybody gets some numbers. I think you can have up to three entries. You know, you could make 10 things, but you just get entered in for three times. And then at the end of the month, Erin chooses because she she makes um, she makes something herself. And she um, also does a yarn giveaway at the end of the month. And my name came up and I won what she made. I am tickled pink. I've got an original Erin make. Now, I've opened the bag um, because I didn't want to make too much noise, but it's it's here. I have the bag open and I'm now going to... I haven't seen this yet. I haven't looked. So, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And this has come all the way from the US. Erin made this herself. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. And in, it's in Karen Cotton Funnel Cake, I think. Look at that. It is beautifully. And look inside. Oh, I've got a bit of my yarn on there. Whoops. And look, it's all lined inside as well. This woman is so clever. That is beautifully made. That is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And um, my friend at work, who I was talking about, has gone through a bit of a bad time at the moment. Erin, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to gift this to her because she loves crocheted items. And I love the bag. 
and I it's not that I wouldn't use it or that but I want to pass on the love I have um one from you a um a yarn boss um yarn bag from Erin before um but this I want to pass this on to, I know it's her colour it's just so blues are her colour so I hope you don't mind Erin it's not because I don't love it I do love it I absolutely love it it's beautiful oh Erin thank you so much but I like I want to share the love with my friend and she would love this she would absolutely love it and I'll share her uh channel your channel with her with my dear friend and um i know she will use this and she will love it she'll probably use it maybe as a project bag or you know if, if she's going out uptown shopping or a little bit of shopping and that erin it's beautiful and it's so soft it's lovely cotton i've never used um the cotton funnel cakes but I love the blues. Look at all the blues in that. And it's got lovely texture as well. Beautiful. Be I've never made a bag like this. And I can see it's uh, three big granny squares. That is so lovely. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, thank you, Erin, so much. Thank you so, so much. And I am going to gift that to my dear friend who's in need of a lot of love and um and care and i know she will adore this i'm going to wrap it up for her and i'll tell her all about your channel and share with you she crochets and knits she's by stitchall so what we usually do is we meet in the mornings when i'm at well only once a week and we crochet in the morning and we crochet um at lunchtime yeah so yeah and i'll be seeing her next weekend because she's not at work at the moment so aren't i lucky what a beautiful item i'll take a lovely photo of it afterwards and i might hang it on morag so you can see it and as a shoulder bag oh thank you erin you're so generous and if you don't know crafting kitty erin my goodness where have you been i would ask that you please i'll put her link below i'll put the link to the video where i was drawn as the winner um she does some cracking um content and her hubby el toro brian um he, you'll get that if you go watch the uh the poor decisions with brian uh content are fabulous they're very generous in their giveaways and um erin makes beautiful items she does beautiful crochet and they have two gorgeous children who sometimes sneak in on the act and they're a delightful lovely beautiful family if you don't know erin please go and watch some of her content please go and subscribe and like her videos and show her a bit of yarny love and that's all for this video at the moment Please look after yourselves, take care of your health, get yourself some, a nice little bit of crafting time, bit of you time, and I'll see you on the next one. And thank you, thank you all for bearing with me when I do go off piste a bit. And uh, I'm afraid when th things do go a bit haywire or whatever, I tend to go quiet and then I come back. I'll always come back because you're always there. You're always there watching my videos, giving me thumbs up, supporting. It's a wonderful, wonderful community. And everyone understands when people get a bit low and need to take a bit of time out. It's OK. And everyone will be there when you come back. So thank you for your patience and understanding. I love you all loads. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.